So what you're looking at right now is my actual desktop computer. All of this is mine. It's not a game. You guys are literally seeing all my apps, all my notifications, everything I got turned on. And we're going to risk all of it because we installed a game called Kinoto Pet. And from what I've heard, it actually breaks into your system and hacks you. Now, I know what you're thinking. Dark, this is a terrible idea. Don't do it. Don't risk it. Well, it's too late because you guys see this little black button right here that's the game i already opened it and this is the only thing that appeared i'm assuming if i click on this thing right here the game will begin i'm gonna be risking a lot here so make sure y'all smash that like button and in return i'll smash this button Ooh, wait hold on this is kind of cool you guys seen this oh we have to log in should i just use my own password smash like don't tell anybody that's my password, by the way, because I use it for everything. So this is the game. We have a bunch of files right here. We got some video games, uh, email, music, and oh, ignore these files right here. So what exactly are we supposed to do? We got uh, notes right here. Welcome back to your computer. Double click an application to open it and explore your wonderful virtual world. We also have a clock up here. That's pretty cool. So how are we going to start, guys? Um, We could play some Minesweeper. Dude, I used to play a lot of Minesweeper before we had internet at home. I actually, I'm one of the three people in the whole world that actually knows how to play Minesweeper. Check this out. Ooh. Oh. Uh, my computer? What happens if I go on my computer? Well, I see. Never mind. <laughs> it just literally opens my own files. Okay, well, I'm assuming if I click the internet, it will literally just open my own internet browser. Oh. It doesn't. Okay, so there is an internet browser. This is probably where all the creepy stuff starts happening. We're connecting with dial-up. Oh my god, that's old school. Y'all have never heard that sound. <laughs> Me neither. I'm not that old, guys. The internet.web. Oh, we can literally search anything. Welcome to the web. Search something and start exploring. What if I look up myself? Dark corners? Is that a thing? Oh, what? The fascinating history on corners. 325 images of corners. Can I click these things? What? These are actual websites? Um, how do I how do I get how do I get back to the main? How do I get back? Error. There has been an error and the data stream has been interrupted. What the heck? Did I just install a virus? I was just looking at shirts! The desktop assistant that everyone has been talking. Is this is this the game? Press any key to terminate the Thank you for choosing Kinito Pet. To start your download, press the button labeled download now. Um uh, am I really gonna install this random thing? I don't know if that's a good idea, bro. Kinoto Pet invites you to their wonderful world of fun and excitement. Kinoto Pet will be your very own virtual friend. They are able to walk, talk, joke, browse, adapt, and play games. Kinoto Pet is like no other with its adaptive technology. The RRA, the reaction response algorithm, taken and improved from the Kinito companion toy. Wait, it's called Kinito? Was I calling it Kinoto the entire time? <laughs> I think I might have. Because Kinito is a friendly, fun loving companion who can keep your computer safe. Note. Kinito Pet might not keep your computer safe. Why would I want to download this? File downloading. Kinoto Pet.zip. Oh, we're going to install it. This wizard will guide you, guide you through the installation of Kinoto Pet Virtual Assistant. By pressing next, you are agreeing to the terms outlined by the Kinoto Leisure and Ent Entertainment Company. Should I not look up that company first? Am I just going to install this file from them without looking them up? Please do not turn off your computer as this could cause unwanted corruption of files all right oh my god yo this is so old school this is actually what it used to look like when you would actually install stuff or like move files around man why'd they stop making computers fun there's no animations anymore the kinoto pet kinito pet virtual is i'm gonna call it kinoto okay because it's it's too hard to pronounce correctly for me i'm my two brain cells they're working overtime right now so just Leave me alone. Okay, so we can actually start it now. Ugh, it's just called Kinoto Pet .exe. It didn't even bother getting rid of the .exe. Sounds like a virus to me, guys. But we're gonna go ahead. 
Oh wow, nah, this this looks like a red, guys. Yeah, let me let me check my bank account. Let me see if it's being drained. Okay, well, I still got my five dollars. It's time to meet your new best friend. Tap on the egg to wake him up. Uh, yo, editor's note. Um, maybe you can put my face cam like in a better spot because there's like um objectives right here and the clock and everything okay, three two one all right so kinoto he comes in an egg he's asleep hey who's there wait does he talk oh hello there hey <laughs> thank you for waking me up no problem buddy I'm Kinito Pet. However, you can just call me Kinito. Okay, Kinoto. Together we are going to become the best of friends. So since you now know my name, what is your name? Um, he wants me to tell him my name. Information. Simply type your input in the box and press OK. Well, uh, my name is Dark Corners, but you can just call me Darko. Darko is fine. I have never heard of that name before. Are it's you sure uh, you know. This is your real name. It's it's what people call me. So you know, names are just a social construct. So Darko is my real name. Yes, sir. Oh, in that case, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> Look at him surfing around. I just cannot wait to get to know you. So, how about I start with some questions? Go ahead, ask me anything. So, what is your favorite color? Oh man, I don't really have a favorite color, guys. Um, I'm just go ahead and... and man, you know what my favorite color is? Wind. <laughs> I just love wind. Can I... I can just say that my favorite color is wind. Oh, that's an interesting color. I know. Okay, now this one is tricky, so get ready. I'm ready, bro. If you could have any superpower, what would it be? Oh man, that's a hard question. Honestly, what would your superpower be? On the one hand, the, f the first one that comes to mind is I would love to have like telekinesis. I can move things with my mind because then I can also move myself with my mind and it gives me flying powers as well. Think about it. I have telekinesis. And I can fly. And flying is like the coolest power, right? But then I'm like, what if I'm flying around and a plane hits me? I'll be dead. Because I got telekinesis. But I don't have super strength and super durability. And in, in that case, telekinesis sounds kind of dangerous. I feel like if I got telekinesis without any super strength or super durability, I'm not going to survive for more than a week. As a matter of fact, the first time I try my powers, I'm probably going to do too much and my head will explode. So this is a hard one. Um, if I could have a superpower, you know what? I'm gonna go with extreme luck. I'm just super lucky all the time. I feel like that would be the perfect superpower. Wow, that sure does sound super. If I could have any superpower, I would want to be able to read minds. Nah, I don't want to be able to read minds, bro. Hey, I could know more about you. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Knowing everybody's secrets and traumas. And no, thank you. I got enough for myself. So choose carefully. What is your favorite word? My favorite word. There's lots of choice here. So choose carefully. My favorite word. So imagine you only have one word that you can use for the rest of your life. What would your favorite word be? Are My, you still there? I'm, I'm, I'm thinking, bro. There's a lot of words. There's like at least 20 words that exist. I gotta pick one. Um, how about we go? Welcome back. Oh, how do you know? I was about to type. That's crazy. My favorite word is like <sighs> freak. Uh, well. Well, that sure is a certain I already regret my choice. I didn't know why I went for that one. That, I think I should tell you a little about myself. Yeah, go ahead. 
Computer, and I will be your very own super duper computer companion. Super duper, I like that. And I'll be your everlasting friend. I can do many things such as play games, manage your system, adapt uh -huh. to you, and even read stories. Ooh, what kind of stories? Speaking of stories, I have just finished writing one that I had started earlier. Would you like me to read it? Yeah? Of course! I knew you would say that! Okay, okay sit back and listen to Kinito's story. Okay. I wish I had some tea right now. I'd go for some tea. Oh, it's a whole book? Whoa, it even has illustrations? But who was it from, and who was it for? I don't know! It was for Kinito, as he soon realized. So he eagerly ripped it open, to see what was inside. What was it? It's a computer! Exclaimed Kinito, with a grin bright and wide. But the cables were tangled. So, so he, he started, started to untie. I like this so far, this is nice, this is relaxing. And once Kinito was done, he powered it on. And watched it come to life with digital color and sun. Bars. Kinito then studied all he could learn to make the online world of turn. However, now Kinito had all these new tips and yet no friend to share his new tricks. Aw, you have a friend now, Kinito. So he went on a quest and found <laughs> a friend just like you. To show you his skills and all he could do. <laughs> so why wait? The adventures lie ahead. So together we can play games, search the web, and leave no story unread. Yup, here, this is a picture of me. The end. Ah! That was great! That was great, Kinito! Thank you for taking the time to hear my story. No problem. The story was actually about me and you. What? No it's way. Amazing. That is great, Kinito. I can tell that we are going to have a very, very long friendship. When sure. When you are together, there are no limits to what we can do. I mean, unless they make an iPhone so, app for you as soon friend. as I leave this PC. Now, now we move on to something more exciting. Like what? I have made something very special for you, but I just need to load it up. Huh? What? Dude, he can grab things? This will be really fun. Welcome to the internet. Okay, last time I was on the internet, um, I, I stuff you. stuff went crazy. Kinito wait, there's other Kinitos? Let's click start. Oh, wait, we can read about them. So we got Kinito, the Exolit Light. Meet Kinito, the lovable pink Exol T, who loves to explore the world around him. What's an Exol T? Is that a thing? Am I just dumb? With his big smile that never fades, Kinito is always eager to learn and make new friends. Kinito is always up for an adventure and loves to play games. Especially ones that involve splashing around in puddles or chasing after bubbles. So come, join Kinito and his crew on their next exciting journey. Now you got Sam the Sea Anemone. The meet Sam, the coolest sea anemone in the ocean, with his laid-back attitude. Sam is always up for a good time. He knows what I'm doing. It's kind of creepy. Like, he's always watching me. I mean, check those eyes out. He is watching me. Anyways, um, Sam is always up for a good time. He loves nothing more than swaying with the gentle currents and soaking up the sun's warm rays. So come hang out with Sam and let him show you how to take it easy and enjoy the simple things in life. And then we have Jade the Jellyfish. Meet Jade, the green jellyfish who loves science and learning. With her curious nature and love of learning, Jade is always experimenting and discovering new things. So come join Jade on her next adventure where the thrill of discovery is never far away. So, uh, are these all sea animals? What the heck is a sea anemone? I've never heard of that. And what's like Axel? You know, I'm too dumb for all of this. Let's just go ahead and click start. So I wonder if 
we can get the other like sam and jade can we get them on our desktop as well no without further ado welcome to the wet world yeah amazing place where you can play games learn and most importantly meet all of my pals i'm excited However, in recent times the wet world has fallen into a bit of a bad state why do you say that With your help i'm sure we can restore our wonderful world wait i thought you were my assistant but before we get ahead of ourselves, you need to be able to navigate around. Oh, there he goes again with the hands. Is that me? There. Much better. Oh, wow, it is me. That's kind of cool. Hey, I can click Kinito. Now to start, my pal Sam has had a rough time trying to fix up his house. You are going to try help him. To visit Sam, click on the abandoned house. Uh, I'm guessing it's uh this house right here, but wait, what happens if I click on Kinito? Oh, I can move him around. Look at him. Can I throw him? That's kind of cool. Okay, let's uh, go ahead and put him like right here for no reason. Okay, so we have to click the abandoned house. This house looks pretty abandoned. Is this the abandoned house? I guess so. So this is Sam's house. All right. Let's get this game on the way. Ready repair. repair. Sam the sea anemone needs your help to repair his house. Clean, dust, paint and decorate Sam's house until it's as good as new. Wowzers. That sounds like fun. I'm just shocked that that's how you pronounce anemone. We can get right to things. How do you say it, Sam? To see anemone? Anem anem anemone? Anem Pfft. I'm not even gonna try. Let's go ahead and play this game. Let's help Sam out. Sam the anem anemone. An an anemone? 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 Hello there. This is my pal Sam. Say hi, Sam. Hi there. What hey! To be the issue today? Well, you see, my house has not been kept in the best shape. Whose fault is that? Well, that's a shame. To start, could you help me by dusting the place down and giving it a good scrub? Do I look like a cleaner? Do I have to do it? Oh my god, dude. Well, you heard him. Why do you get on with that? I will be here writing my next book. Alright, buddy. How many spider webs does he have here, dude? Wait, I can't get rid of this one. <laughs> if you guys are wondering, yes, this is exactly what games used to be like back in the day. Did you guys see that? That was weird. But yeah, this is exactly what games used to be like back in the day. And it was amazing, guys. I flippin' loved Flash games. Ugh. Oh my, how do I scrub everything down exactly? Am I doing it right now? Because I don't feel like I'm really cleaning at all. Oh. Wow, amazing. It looks as good as new. Hey man, you're welcome. Whenever you're ready, you can just press next. Wait, there's more rooms? For the next task, I would like you to pay Oh my, my god, am I being Can paid for this? For me? You know how much work that is, bro? Alright, which color do we want? Let's go and uh, pick... Mm, or Nah, he's already orange himself. Let's go ahead and pick, like, a uh, blue color. Ooh. Oh, wait. We can, we can have different colors, though. Maybe that's cool. So we're gonna have blue right here. Right. Uh-huh. Just like this. Oh, dude, that's gonna be so sick. Oh, I have an idea. So, we're gonna have blue right here. Yeah. Uh huh. And then uh, we'll have like uh, trees and stuff. Like this. Like bushes. Uh huh. Like this. And then we'll have clouds as well. Oh, I like this. Are y'all liking this? And then we should also have a sun somewhere. Yup. Just like that. Is that everything we need? Mm, no, I think, I, think, I think this is good enough. This is pretty good. You're welcome, Sam. I just Super. made it amazing. You 
have done a great job. Well, Next, could you decorate the place a little? Uh, what the heck was that? I don't think that was supposed to happen. I'm pretty sure there was like a hidden message right there. All right, um, let's just finish this game. Let's hang up a poster. Put a chair right here. Ooh, this chair is also pretty good. Nah, it doesn't fit. Um, is this everything we have? Oh yeah, we probably need a big couch. You know what? I'll get rid of this chair because it's kind of old. Wait, how do I? Wait, let's put the rug down first, and then we place the couch. Now we also place this couch right here. Get the plant. Yo, this is looking good. We got some stuff off the wall. <laughs> yeah, this is amazing. Um, what else do we have? Maybe a light. Yup. And a clock. I like this. Should we get another poster? Why not? Another poster. What? What's this? Is that a... Is that a... B b is that a body? What the frick just happened? I, I got goosebumps. I was not expecting that. What's going on now? Is that it? you for helping out Sam. If you like, you can print out your work. What just, just happened? Continue. We can print out our work? Do we want to do that? I mean, my printer isn't even connected. Well, there's no way it's going to actually print it, right? Oh, I just, I just clicked print. Nothing's happening. Whoa, what the? It's actually trying to print something out. That is insane. It's literally what I just made. That's that's kind of cool. Uh, I don't want to print that. No, thank you. That was weird. That so much fun? No, it was kind of scary. What was that? Why was there suddenly a body inside of this game? And we're still playing it. Nah, that house is not clean, dude. There's a lot of bad things what? in there. I think I should introduce you to my other friend. Alright, the purple house. This one. Let's go over. Hopefully, things will be less creepy and strange over at uh, Jade's house. Knock, knock. Huh? Oh, the door wouldn't open. That was weird. Are you excited yet? Sure. Frenzy. Jade Jellyfish needs to help fix her toys. Oh, this could be interesting. This is going to be super fun. Let's get this game started. Uh, quick cut, editor, one sec. All right, let's go ahead and help out Jade. This is my friend Jade. Go on, introduce yourself. Hi, Jade. Hello, my name is Jade the Jellyfish. It's nice to meet you. Wait, she has hands. So, what do you have for us today? I need your help to build some toys in my toy factory. To do this, you need to grab parts of the conveyor belt and match it to the outline. That sounds easy. Start, could you help me by making a car? That sounds like fun. Oh, that does That's sound like fun. Alright. I am going to be getting so much needed rest. Uh, we need wheels? Oops. That's not quite right. Try again. Oh, ch chill. Let me do it. Wow. <laughs> That's amazing. <clears throat> Next, could you make me a bicycle? Yo, this game saw a glitch. Yo, Kinoto? Kinido? Oh, he's sleeping. Man, he's fast asleep. All right, we gotta make a bike. Let's put the wheels down. Put the frame down. Is that a beating heart? What the frick is going on, guys? Why was there a beating heart on the conveyor belt? Look at your other mat. What? 
Oh my god, you got guys. There was, there was a, a a face. Hold on, you guys don't know what just happened. I have a second monitor. There was a face on the second monitor looking at me, guys. Okay, maybe this game actually does hack into your system. Because how the flip was to my second monitor like that? Are we are we just gonna ignore that? Sure, I'm, I'm okay with that. I, You know what? I didn't see anything, guys. I'm minding my own business. I did not see that. That was weird. All right. Uh, let's just finish this bike up. Uh, we need a saddle. We need uh, the steering thing. Where is it? Oh, a teddy bear. Wait, are these the steering handles? Super. For this next one, could you build a I'm kind of paranoid bear. right now, guys. Like, I keep looking at my second screen. All right, a teddy bear. That should be easy. L uh, arms, legs, I guess. Wait, maybe this oh, teddy bear needs the beating heart, so he'll become a, a live teddy this bear. One is a little more tricky. So, can you build me a robot? A robot? Sure. New mail. It's not too late. Wait, can I check my email while I'm playing? Okay, we can do that. Oh. We are in the middle of a really fun game. I just wanted to check my email real quick. Wait. Wait, what have I what anyways? You're nearly finished now. So just continue your last task. What if I what if I want to open my email again? Is he gonna get mad? Oh dude, I can't even open it anymore. Alright, that's weird. I'll check my email after this game. That's fine. Okay, let's just finish this robot. Because I really want to see what's in that email. Look, we're done. Can I open my email now? You have completed all of my tasks. Thanks for helping me out. No problem, Jane. Jade, I mean. You did a really good job. To continue, just press next. Can I open my email now? Because we're not we're not playing a game anymore. Okay, we're good. Oh, we got two emails. Thank you for installing Kinito Pet. Hello, friend. Thank you for installing the Kinito Pet Virtual Assistant. Thank you. We're going to have so much fun together. Since you have found interest in our free virtual assistant. You may also like the Kinito Pet Friendship Club subscription service where an additional multitude of exclusive features will become available for you and Kinito to have some more fun. Ooh, wait, how do I subscribe to that? We gotta figure that out. And then we have an email that just says it's not too late. What the heck? Wait, is this a, a QR code? Am I supposed to open this with my phone? Okay, it opens kinetopet.com. This is what we're looking at. It's a picture of a keyboard. So what does this have to do with this email? It looks like the email is literally just somebody smashing their keyboard. Could there be a hint? Okay, I don't I don't understand what's going on here. I guess we can just go ahead and ignore this email. Maybe it'll make more sense later. Just keep playing this game and we'll figure out what the frick is going on. Awesome. You have really helped my friends out here. You only had two I friends, right? As a treat for helping me and my friends out, I'll give you a fun game. Mm-hmm. Meet me in the treehouse to get started with my fun game. Okay, so he lives in the treehouse right here. Let's go over. Let's have uh, uh, some fun with Kinito. Whatever that may mean. Oh, this takes a while to load. That took longer to load than the other games, it feels like. Hide and seek. Mm-hmm. What the heck? What was that about? What is going on? I'm so confused. Are we playing the game right now? Something is seeking you. I hope the heck not. Don't get 
God. Okay. They're talking about in game, right? Like nobody is seeking me in real life. Wait, what's this? What is this? <gasps> what the heck? Why does this look so real? Look, I'm controlling everything. Huh. You look at the window. Huh. Okay, this is weird. This is scary. This is creepy. This is disturb. Oh, heck's not, dude. There's something in here with me. What was that? That. Oh my god, it's running all over the place. It looked like one of the Kinidos. It looked like uh, the red one. What was his name? Sam? I think Sam might be after me, guys. Oh, the exit? Please tell me this is an exit. Let me out. Ah, I can't get up there. Dude, what the frick is going on? <sighs> okay, I, did, I didn't know this would be in the game. What? What? Huh? What was that sound? We're just playing hide and seek. What is that? Huh? What is this? Is that blood? Oh no, guys. I'm stuck. I think I might have gone in a circle. And that looks... I don't know what that is, but it doesn't look good at all. Can I interact with it? Nope. Can I run? I can't run. I can't sprint. Oh my god. Oh my god. What's going on? What is going on? Oh! Well, uh, the, the game just sh shut down. What is this? What? Uh, guys, this is this is my actual. Founded by the Kinedo brothers in the early seventies, the Kinedo Leisure. And wait, wait, wait! Can I pause this? Manufacturing of lovable characters, from its start in plush collectibles to its technological advancements in the Kinedo Companion, the Kinedo Company prides itself on innovation. And now, that's why today we are excited to announce the next. It's a commercial for the Kinedo Pet. With Kinedo Pet. The virtual desktop assistant. So join the Kinito family today and unlock the power of Kinito Pet. Visit our website or call now to bring the future right into your home. Kinito Leisure and Entertainment Company, innovating for a better tomorrow. Guys, I'm not sure if you realize, but this. <laughs> Okay, I I'm, I might have made a mistake by installing this because this is these are my actual files. The game put an actual video file in my computer and then it opened it. Okay, let's close this. I am waiting for you. Should I just should I just turn this off? Okay. Come back to me. Re open the game. Okay, well, the good news is my tax evasion files are still fine. Uh, should we should we reopen the game? So, what the heck? Yo, the, did, the button was different. Did you guys see that? All right, we're back, I think. Whew, okay, everything looks normal again. Wait, should I reopen KinetoPad? Is that a good idea? Run KinetoPet.exe to pick up where you last left off. Let's let's not do that for now, okay? Let's not open KinetoPet because there's still some things we haven't checked out. Like, I think I just got a new email. Wait, we did. We got an email from Tech Talk Talent. Article.png was sent to you via file upload. Wait, somebody is sending us files. What is this? Behind the Kinito Companion. Once again, guys, this is like my actual PC right here. It's literally opening files in my actual computer. That's kind of... I feel like that's risky. That's kind of a red flag. 
So behind the Kinido Companion, this looks like some kind of Tamagotchi. What a coincidence. I was looking into getting one a few days ago, just for fun. In the bustling world of technology and innovation, the Kinido Companion has captured the hearts of millions, giving rise to a new era of interactive toys. Today, we have the incredible opportunity to delve into the mind of Sonny Chamberlain, the brilliant lead programmer and behind the lifelike wonder that is the Kinido Companion. Alright, so this is information about Kinido. So now we know the lead programmer and developer is Sonny Chamberlain. Probably not related to Emma Chamberlain or whatever her name is. When asked about his inspiration for the project, Sonny explained, I've always been fascinated by the idea of bringing characters to life in a way that feels authentic and responsive. It's like having a true companion that reacts to your interactions. The challenge was to create a system that could simulate intelligence without actually being intelligent. Did he just call Kinido stupid? That's when Sonny introduced us to the revo revolutionary, re re revolutionary RRA system, the React-Respond algorithm. This technology represents a more remarkable leap in the realm of interactive toys and gadgets. Sonny elaborated. The React-Respond algorithm is a series of complex patterns and training data that allows Kinido Companion to respond to users' interactions with various emotions and actions. We observed observed countless human-to-human -human interactions to develop an extensive database of appropriate responses. The algorithm analyzes input from the users, identifies patterns, and matches them up to predefined reactions. All right, guys, I've seen enough sci-fi movies to know this went horribly wrong. The RRA system was probably so good that Kinido started forming actual thought and feelings, and, like, he's, he's probably evil now. He probably hates all humanity. When asked about the future, Sonny remained tight-lipped but hinted at even more groundbreaking developments in the pipeline. We're always striving to push the boundaries of what technology can do. The possibilities are endless and we're excited to explore them, he said mysteriously. Here's the thing, y'all. When you start pushing boundaries, they might start pushing back in ways that you do not want them to push back in. Alright, now the question is, who the heck sent this to me? Somebody wanted me to see this. And I wonder if it's the same person that sent me this email. Can I reply? I can't reply. All right. Uh, well, before we open up Kinito Pet, I just want to check out Paint. Can we, can we smash like on this video, please, guys? Thank you. All right, Kinito. I'm going to open you up. Hey, there you are, buddy. I, I just read an article about you. Well, hello again. It seems that our last session was kind of premature. Yeah, it was kind of strange. As I'm working better than ever now. So what are we gonna do now? Oh, he, he's being all goofy. Before. Anyways, what activity shall we do now? I don't want to play that game anymore. Oh, he's thinking. He's thinking. Ah, uh, yes. That's it. One of my core features is my adaptability. And truth be told, I don't know th What? What is this? Wait, why did he stop talking? Where I will ask you questions in six different categories so I can better adapt myself to you. Okay, so I, I'm gonna do like a Q&A. Press the start button whenever you're ready. So the categories are settling in, paint your thoughts, a place for you, fix your problem, Thoughts and feelings all about you. All right, I can do this. This is like a Q&A for you guys as well. Hopefully, Kinito doesn't ask any weird questions like how much I really owe the IRS because <laughs> nobody's allowed to know that. Let's Not even the IRS. Some easy ones to get the ball rolling. Okay, question one. Is everything going smoothly for you today? Um, I mean, pff, it's going pretty well. You know, I woke up early. I haven't had breakfast yet. So, you know, it's going smoothly, but not I haven't done everything I wanted to do, but it is going smoothly, yes. Amazing. Remember, you can always count on me to make everything run as smooth as Appreciate it, buddy. I appreciate it. Next question. Okay. Next question. Would you say you have enjoyed using Kinito? Man. <laughs> Honestly, bro, I was enjoying it until the whole thing with the weird body bag and like my PC crashing. Uh, that kind of turned me off. So don't take it personal, but I'm probably going to delete you. No. 
Oh, I didn't I didn't know that would hurt his feelings. Well, this will help to solve that issue. And these questions will allow me Oh man, I feel kind of bad. Maybe I should have just lied. Better. I'm gonna start lying okay, from now on. By the end of this all, I would have changed your mind. Okay, at least he's being uh, positive. Right, next question. Who is your best Who friend? is my best friend? Man, who is my best friend? Who is my best friend? My best friend is someone that nobody knows about except them. My best friend, my best friend, my best friend. Ooh, this is gonna be hard. This is gonna be hard. Okay, you know what? My best friend is you. Uh, perhaps you didn't hear my question. Hmm? Don't turn up my volume. What are you doing? He just turned my volume up. Okay, wait. I, th I think I know what's happening here. He wants me to be more specific. My best friend is you, Kinido. That's right. I'm your best friend forever and always. All right. Well, technically, I did say you were my best friend, but I guess you just want me to type it out. Question four. That was weird. Do you have lots of free time? Do I have lots of free time? Mwah. Define free time, guys, because <laughs> time is money, bro. Nah, yeah, I, I do, I do have, I do have. Mm, honestly, honestly, no. Okay, that's a shame. I don't have that much free time. I'm gonna be real with y'all. I'll make sure to change that. He just winked at me. Okay, this one is quite tough. What is your favorite game? Oh, dude. That's crazy. I was literally thinking about this this morning. My favorite game ever, if I really had to pick one, the game that had the most influence on me and that I still think about fondly is going to be GTA San Andreas. Let's go, baby. That's the best game ever. Amazing. That game sounds super fun. We should play it some. Bro, let's run it, bro. I love that game. And that concludes the first section of your best friends analysis of Okay, so that was uh, just the first category. Okay, for this next session, <laughs> I'm going to get you to paint me some. Pictures. All right, there goes the hand again. Oh, he's just moving things around without asking me. That's kind of that feels like you're violating me, bro. Oh, we just tested this out earlier. Okie dokie, test one. Paint me a picture. A picture that represents happiness. Oh man, a picture that represents happiness. Let's go. I let's um. Really to explore your imagination. <laughs> so feel free to use all the different colors as listed below. All right, let's uh let's be creative. When I think about happiness, I think about let's go for like an ocean, right? Water, like wavy water. You feel like you are done. Press and then there's like a golden sun golden sun like this oh yeah this is beautiful oh a golden sunset oh yeah and then and then there's like a bunch of clouds as well oh yeah this is oh that's that's too much too much clouds there's no mistakes worry, just accidents happy accidents like. okay so we need like tiny well actually we should probably just paint this um Paint this a lighter blue. Now it should probably be a darker blue actually, because the sun is going down, right? So it should be like a darker blue, like this. Yo. Oh my god, it's actually starting to look pretty good, guys. Do you agree? Okay, let's get this like this. Okay, I know it looks pretty dark for a picture that represents happiness, but this is the first thing that came to mind. I freaking love sunsets. And I love clouds. I love the wind. I love water. So you have the sun right here going down and then you have like clouds oh yeah oh yeah you have like really big puffy clouds oh yeah baby let's go oh this is beautiful i don't know what kind of cloud that is but you guys you guys know exactly what i'm trying to do here you got like clouds 
Ooh, and maybe, maybe there's like just a little drizzle. Like a little tiny drizzle of rain. Just little tiny drizzles. Oh, yeah, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. I love it. Yep, this is the one. This is the one. Smash like if you agree. Wow, what a nice painting. They use some really expensive happiness of Oh, you, you just deleted my picture. Maybe I wanted to print that. Okay, for this next one, I want you to do the opposite. So paint me a picture two. that represents sadness? Paint me a picture that represents sadness. Ooh, that's hard. What represents there sadness for me? That could help you that are listed on the side. Click them to see what they do. Oh, I guess the picture that represents sadness. How about we have, like, blood on the ground? Right? It's like, blood on the ground. And you know what's... You know what's there? <laughs> you know... You know what's... What left all that blood there? There's a tombstone right here. Yup. Let's color it in. <sighs> and here, ladies... <laughs> I'm so scared to say this. This right here is my channel's tombstone. Someday my channel will die. And it'll be right here. Like this. Dark corners. That right there. That's super sad. Imagine that if this channel was dead. That is an choice for representing sadness. But I suppose everyone's different. It's not about the color, Kinito. It's about what's, what I drew. You don't even care about what I drew. Okay, moving on. Task 3. Paint me a picture of your best friend. All right, so I got to paint a picture of him. All right. Uh, okay, can you, can you stand right there? Let's get your color. You're like a big giant ball. That's what you are. You're like a big... Oh, wrong color. <laughs> That's embarrassing. You are not that color. You're this color. So you're like a big blob. Uh-huh, like this. Uh, you're, you're a little bit more circular than that. A little bit more circular. Now, obviously, you got your eyes, like, right here. And you got your pupils. It's got black pupils. Probably a little smaller than this. Okay, that's good. Now, you got these, these like, gills. I don't know what they're called, but they're, like, kind of pointy. They're like this. You got three of them on each side. Then you have big, lanky legs like this, and they kind of dance. So they're kind of like this. And you got your feet. Is that it? Yeah, that was pretty easy. Super. That looks just like me. You yep. Really my head. I wonder what would have happened if we drew something completely different. Would he have noticed? This one might be a little tricky. Task four. Paint me a picture that represents you. A picture that represents me? Okay, that one's a little hard, but oh, let's go ahead. Let's try to get my skin tone. I don't think they have my skin tone. <laughs> uh, okay, I guess we got to get creative. A uh, picture that represents me. All right. So, uh... Pfft. Let's start with my nose, the most prominent feature on my face. Uh, I have a crooked nose. Okay. It's kind of like this. I got pretty big nostrils because air is free. Okay. What do my eyes look like? Okay, these are my eyes. Okay, I kind of look like handsome Squidward right now. My head is kind of shaped like a peanut. So I got like my jaw like this. And then it's indent, and then it's like this. <laughs> I think I have a pointy chin, kind of. Yup. Okay. It's look. It's looking. It's looking pretty good. And uh, I'm bald. Oh my god. This this doesn't look bad at all. And then we got my lips. What do my lips look like? Mm. Okay. We got we got some nice puckered lips, baby. Let's go. We got the Drake lips. Oh. Just like that. And obviously, wait, should I just have my eyes closed? Yup, yup. These were gonna go gonna be my eyes, but let's just make these my eyebrows. Just like that. Yup, and then I have a dimple. Let's put the dimple right here. 
Now let's make it a little bit smaller. Let's make the dimple a little bit smaller. I'm uh, I'm kind of shocked at how uh, not terrible this looks. This actually looks pretty uh, decent. Just like that. Did I miss anything? If I missed anything, please let me know down below in the comment section. Maybe I should draw a little bit of hair. Just a little bit. Yup. Maybe my ears as well. Wait, where are my ears? My ears are like right here. Okay. I look like Shin Shen, but I think it's pretty decent. Man, I kind of want to picture this. Wow, that looks really interesting. I'll make a note of this drawing for future reference. Okay. I feel like these exercises are really bringing us closer to you. Right, Whoa, did he just interrupt himself? Task. Could you paint me a picture of the person standing behind you? But there's nobody standing behind me. What the heck? What? What's going on down there? What's going on down there? There's something happening down here. I can't see what's happening. I can't control my mouse. The game has control of my mouse. What's going on down there? Dude, guys, look. The game, it's, it's literally doing something. It opened up paint and windows. It's drawing something. I can't see what it's drawing. Okay, should I? Dude, I can't. I, I couldn't even see what it drew. What the heck did they just draw? Is that a door? Can I walk? Oh, dear. Let's not break. I'm super sorry about all that. That really wasn't supposed to What happen. did they just draw down there? Oh well, I think it's best if we just leave these painting. Okay, let, yeah, let's... I don't want to play this anymore. Thank you. Get, just get rid of this. Are you not going to okay, tell me what you drew down there? Next section, I want to build an imaginary world. Not just for you. I really want to know what your ideal conditions would be. Kind of paranoid right now. Further ado, question one: Where would you choose to live given the choice? Hmm, where would I choose to live given the choice? With sand and palm trees galore. In a Pretty good. With super tall trees and a cozy Also good, but kind of scary. Or in a field. With blowing grass and a comforting breeze. Hmm. Honestly, select the image that you prefer, then press OK. Let's cut real quick. <laughs> I want to Google this. I would probably go ahead and pick the beach. So, yes, the island. Ah, a remote island. What a wonderful choice. This really says a lot about you. It does? Moving on. If you could have any pet in the world, what would you choose? A cat. A cat. A cat. That sounds like it would make a great I love companion. cats. Cutest animal in the whole world. Now, what would you call this pet? Hmm. Really try to think of a good name for it. It would depend on what the cat looks like. Um, probably, <laughs> I probably call it kitty, cause then I can be like, come here, kitty, come here, kitty, kitty. Wow, that sounds like a great name for you. It's probably not original, but hey, at least everybody will know my cat's name. All right, next question. What is your favorite time of year? Ooh, spring. Spring all the way, dude. Spring is just perfect. Nope. Nope. Or winter. <laughs> Did you just forget the best spring? Are you serious? Well, if I had to choose, I like all of these. I'm really curious about what you will choose for this one. Spring is my favorite, but I can I can I can appreciate autumn. I can appreciate summer and I can appreciate winter. But I guess like when spring is just like the the part between spring and summer where summer is just starting it's kind of just like spring so that's why i'm gonna go for summer 
summer is a great choice. Yeah. I sometimes wonder what it would feel like to be out in the sun. I mean, look, you're kind of in the sun right now. Check out my desktop background. I can? Okay, final question. If you could only eat one food for Ooh. the rest of the time, what would it be? Oh my, do I have to pick a specific dish or can it be a type of food? Like, can I be like, I want to eat spaghetti for the rest of my life? Because there's a lot of different things you can do with spaghetti. Do I want to eat Indian food? I love Indian food. It's a lot of different curries you can make, but I don't think it'd be good for your guts down there. Oh, pfft. oh wait, the question is different. He said, what f if you could only pick one food to eat for your rest of your, the rest of your life? But here it just says, what's your favorite food? Oh man, I love food, so this is gonna be hard. I'm gonna go for. Right now, I probably really like. Oh man, right now, today, today I'm into Indian food. It changes every day, but today I like Indian food. They definitely would. Yes, sir. All right, that wraps up that little section. Moving on. I want to go a little off script and ask some of my own questions. What's going on here? To start, I have a question that I have been meaning to ask you. Why have you been recording me? I noticed that you always seem to have an app open called OBS. And so I was wondering why you would be recording me. What? And since you have been looking at me, how about I look at you instead? That would be nice. So. No? Dude. That, that was... Did you guys see that? He... Sorry, guys. I'm in shock. Look look at the hairs on my arms. I got goosebumps up the butt right now. What the heck, dude? This is the craziest amount of goosebumps I've ever had in my life. No, you can't see my face. The game just hack into my camera? What the frick is going on? Dude, that wasn't even my main camera. That was like my webcam. How did he even know my webcam was connected? I hope so. Yes. No. Yes. Yes. This is weird. I feel violated. I feel violated, guys. You got my cam, my webcam isn't even in the right angle. Yes. Why is he taking so long to make up new questions? What's going on here? Hello? Nito? <laughs> oh. You? What the heck? Yes? What kind of questions are these? And what, why was the guy pointing at me? What was that all about? Who the heck is Keystello? Is that somebody on my friends list? Are we looking at my friends list now? I got like 600 people on my friends list. Kinido, don't get jealous. I don't know most of them. No, I don't even know who that is. 
No. What the heck? You okay? Can you do? Can you still see me? Um, kind of. Should I? Should I? Should I tell him the truth? Yes. Yes, I do. Why? It's a normal mirror. Yeah, the reflection is me. It would be weird if it wasn't my... Re what was that? It would be weird if I didn't recognize it. It's literally me, bro. I have a pretty iconic face. If I do say so myself. But now I'm kind of paranoid. I keep looking at the mirror. Okay, I'm going to stop doing that because mirrors are kind of freaky. Who would I rather kill? See, here's the thing, bro. You're getting people off my friends list. I got like a thousand friends. I don't know most of them. So in that case, I'm going to go ahead and uh, kill Lola. Please tell me that's fake. Please tell me my monitor is fine. Because it looks kind of broken right now. And if it's bro... <sighs> okay, we're good. We're good. Woo! That was kind of scary for a split second there. You never know what these games can do. Did you say something? Probably about two. I'm going to keep it real. Just two. And those were really hard. Like two brain cells, two thoughts is like the max you can do. I would hope so. I mean, shoot, if I don't know, at least the doctor will, right? Finally, dude, this done yapping. Am I afraid of the dark? I am the dark. I was molded by it. So no. Okay, wait, can I change my question? Yes, I am afraid of the dark. Turn the light back on, bro. Where the frick am I now? I'm in a bedroom. Whose bedroom is this? It's not my bedroom. Can I move? Why does this look so HD? This looks like an actual picture taken in on a camera. This does not look like a game. All I can do is look around. Dude, even that... Is that a curtain? Even the curtain looks really good. Oh. Why the freak does this look so realistic? This looks better than real life. Is that Kinito? Hey, Kinito. Um. Bye, Kinito. Huh? Where'd he go? Hey, Kinito, we're still friends, right? You're not mad at me or anything. Huh? Huh? Um. Hey? Oh. Is this a game? Or am I looking at a video? I, it looks like real life. It's kind of freaking me out who is there <gasps> hey Kenito <laughs> oh. I am inside hex nah oh nah wait I don't think I want to play anymore We're back in. Everything's looking normal. Should we run Kinito pet again? Hey, Kinito, you were acting all weird last time I saw you, bro. So hopefully everything's Welcome good now. Back. Looks like there was another error. Yeah, sure, another Apologies. error. 
However, I may have a way to make it up to you. Because you answered all my questions, I want yeah. to give you free access to the Kanito Pen. Dude, I heard it, Ed. Become a member and get more features. Friendship Club is an add-on to my software that allows me to do even more amazing things. With this extension, I can make us games to play so we will never run out of fun activities. I don't know if we should give him this access. Because look, it says if we get this, he'll be able to run code. With Kinito's friendship club, Kinito Pet gains the ability to generate and execute his own code. I don't know if I want to give him all that power, bro. Hold on, dude. I'm just, I'm just reading. I'm just reading. Enter Enter's phone with Kinito as he generates small, randomly generated mini games and small programs for you to play in. The increase in Kinito's allocated memory will allow Kinito to make calculations faster, causing even more fun to be had. Hmm. I don't know, guys. This seems pretty fishy. Let's try it out. Trust me, you won't regret this. This add-on will bring everlasting fun. I, just I don't know, can't bro. Wait. I'm already having some regrets right now. All right. Just press next here so we can finish the installation. Next. Okay. So far, so good. So he can write his own code. So technically, we'll have like infinite games. This is kind of like AI before AI. Chat GPT was first. Kinito Pet GPT. It was successfully installed. The membership form will open shortly. Amazing. Now, you will need to fill out your details to a membership form. But don't <laughs> worry, it's only short. Oh, I see what you're doing. To start, you need to fill out your full name. However, I already filled out your first one since I knew that <laughs> He already. thinks that's my real name, guys. All right, they probably want me to fill in all my real information. I am not going to do that. So I'm Darko Cornero. All right. Next time, need your email. Uh, my email is not dark corners at fake mail dot not okay now the day you were born uh, i'm gonna give him my channel birthday my channel was born on like the 6th uh of march uh 2016 if you guys want to know actually i think it was the 5th i don't remember excellent now i just need your address so you can officially become a member of my friendship club yeah, we're not doing that. Uh, I'm going to give him a fake address. I live on 13th Street. Uh, pff, Avenue. Uh, the city I live in is called uh, Flatgrass. The zip code is, uh, I don't know, 691337. Uh, and the country is... Robloxia. Like you made a mistake when filling out your address. But don't worry, as I will just correct it for you. One moment. There. That should be a little more accurate. Wait, what did he just do? All right. All this info seems... What did he just do? I will now just send this over to the server so it can register you. Did he just get my... What did he do? Seconds. What was that? I just can't wait to show you all the new features. However, before we do that, you just need to do one tiny thing for me. I just need administrative permission. No. It will allow me to get the most no. out of all No! No! No, 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 no! No, we are not doing that! I don't think I should do this, guys. He's asking me to open the command prompt on my own computer. Can I even do that? Just press the Windows key, then type C, M, D, and it should pop up. Amazing. 
Now whenever you're ready, could you just type the command grand system.access Guys, I just want to repeat, this is not the game. This is my actual computer. The actual command prompt of my real expensive important contains all my personal information, banking information, YouTube information computer. I could end this video right now. Okay, uh, he, want me, he wants me to type. I can't see what you want me to type, Kenito. You're like at the top of the screen. Hey, don't close that. You need to type the command first. What command? No. I think you made a mistake. The command is grant grant kinito pad dot exe system dot access. Okay, well, as soon as we do this, there's no point of return. Woo! Three, two, one. Uh oh. Uh oh. Wait, is this the? How how are they doing that to my command prompt? How are they doing that to my computer? How amazing. Now, I am just going to run a reset. So the changes can take place. Wait, he's not going to reset my However, PC, right? Rest assured, and I will have coded something special for you by the time you come back. So, goodbye for now. I can't wait to show you everlasting fun. I don't like that I just did that. That was a very terrible choice. So what now? Kinito Pet has requested that you restart the game. I can't wait to show you what I have made. All right, Kinito Pet, um, play. What the frick is that? What is this? Okay, it's, it has the same boot up screen. It's looking pretty normal so far. A game by Troy N. Okay, it's the exact same intro. I don't know if making this video was a good idea. Uh, I'm kind of uh, doing a lot of risky things. And I'm just trusting that my PC will be fine after this video. Uh, what's my password again? I can't remember. Uh, smash like, I think. It's what I always use. You cannot leave. I mean, the door is right there. Wait, I can't... You guys see my mouse pointer? I can't do anything anymore. Oh, now I can. Sorry. I was just... I was, I was, I was just, uh, stressing too soon. Okay, let's go ahead and open Kinito Pet. Always surfing into the screen. Welcome back. Hey While there, Kinito. You While you were gone, I've been creating my own little program for you. What have you been coding? What has he been cooking? I'll start booting it up now, but it will take a short while to compile all the code. Oh. What the? What did he just do? What is he doing to my computer? What the frick is he doing to my computer? Before I forget, we wouldn't want anything to take your attention away from my program. So we can just get rid of these unnecessary distractions. Whoa, 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 that's my friends list! He just deleted all my friends! Alright, looks like we are all set. What the frick is going on? Once again, this is not the game. This is... I don't know how to explain it. This is like my actual computer. How is he doing all of this on my computer? Is that not dangerous? Okay, can you stop? You're kind of scaring me. I didn't Google if this game is actually safe. Now I feel like I should have done that. It looks like it's ready. 
Darko's hey, world. Hold on to your seat because this is your world. A game I made entirely for you. Darko's world. That is. It even has your name in the title. That is actually kind of cool. Yeah, that that is fun. Just click to advance onward. Okay. All right. So what do I do now? That was made entirely for you. So I'm on like a chessboard. The controls, I looked in your files where I detected other first person games. And so I tried to mimic the control scheme of Wait, he actually looked that at my games? Feel most that is nice of him, but also kind of creepy. So what's the control I can use to shoot you? Amazing. I knew you would get the hang of it quickly. I have also added the ability to zoom using the right mouse. Oh wow! I can zoom in real far. That's just like Gmod. Did he actually get that from my game? Because most games don't have this feature. Uh, this all seems a bit empty. Mm -hmm. So how about we go somewhere else? Let me guess. We're gonna go to the beach. That's why you asked me about that, right? Oh, this is not the beach. Hey man, a train? How do I get on the train? Is this good? All right, I'm on the train. Can I get off the train? Nope. Soon as you're on the ride, you can't leave. What has he made? I'm kind of scared. Whatever it is, it's probably not, not fun, not good. It's probably going to be a little bit disturbing. Oh, we're going a little fast, don't you think? Can this thing slow down a little bit? All I see is trees. Is so much fun. Are we almost there yet? What could it be? I mean, what does he really know about me? Sure, he probably has my real name and my real address, whatever. Uh, He doesn't know... Wait, he does know what I look like. Because my webcam was on the OBS screen. Okay, that is kind of dangerous. What is this? Is that it? A circus? Welcome to Darko Land! Man, this is great! Let me off, let me off. I want to check out Darko Land. Alright. We are here. Welcome to your very own fun fair. Alright, let's check it out. Go ahead. Explore around. What do we have? We have the carousel right here. We have what the heck was that? Did y'all see that? That thing glitched. This is just one of many new things I can make for you. Oh, I went on the merry-go-round. Okay. Let's see what's over here. Are there like games that we can win? Oh, it's a map of the fun fair. A miniature version of your fun fair. That's pretty cool. What's this? Whack-a-mole! If you ever get bored of this world, I can <laughs> just make a new one for you. As okay, this is not... You would never need a reason to leave. This ain't bad. This is actually pretty decent. I wonder what kind of things he can cook. And he can probably learn from all the games he's created. So, within like two years, he can probably make the greatest game of all time. <laughs> oh, come on. Okay, that was pretty cool. Oh, what else do we have? I think we can throw rocks at this thing. Oh no, we can shoot it. Mm-hmm. Yup, I'ma shoot the duck. Bop. Is that it? Oh. I'm trying to get the high score. Ooh. Ooh. This is boring. Can I take the gun with me? <gasps> oh, I thought I could take it with me, dude. I got excited for a second. Did y'all see that? You know, through our experiences, I have learned a lot about you. And hopefully these worlds will allow me to learn a lot more. Mm-hmm. All right, I'm going to hop on this thing. Yo. Oh, my God. We can actually ride it. It's kind of slow, though. Oh, it's really slow. Is this going to be worth it? Probably not. See, I'm already starting to yawn. Forget about that thing. Let's go straight for the roller coaster. I never go on roller coasters and fun fairs because I don't trust them. You know how quickly they build those things up? And you guys see the people that are working there? They're, they're 
I mean, well, let's put it straight. They're usually not very nice. And I don't trust them to be able to set these things up without any error, ever. All right, how do I get in this ride? Let's get ready for the ride of your life. I don't like the way that sounded. This is a very big roller coaster for a fun fair, by the way. How unfortunate. What's up? Not to worry. I have an idea. Oh, it's not working? Huh? There, much better. What did he just do? Why was it not working before? Okay, whatever. Let's just try to enjoy this ride. This will be pretty cool in VR. Okay, we're going up. We're going up. Oh, let's go. Oh, oh, we're about to get the speed, guys. We're about to go down. In three, two, one. Whoa! Whoa! one tiny detail. Most of my time built in this world wasn't for this unfair. What is he talking about? My time was spent developing this next bit. Just for you. This and next I think bit? You're really going to enjoy it. Uh what? What what next bit? What's going to happen? I don't I don't like where this is going. Okay. Oh oh whoa. It's just darkness. Oh, I should have known that was gonna be something. Are we falling? Are we still on the roller coaster? Okay, whoa! Oh the beach! Dude, no, this is actually nice! Oh, where'd the roller coaster go? Isn't it just wonderful? It actually is. You said you wanted to live. Yeah. Remember when you answered my questions before? Yes, I remember that. This was your preferred environment. Okay, well, uh, let's explore. Um, I was hoping the island would be bigger. Like he just gave me one small, tiny island, but in my head, I was thinking about like a Hawaii. Stand here on this X. An X? Trust me, this will be worth it. Where? Oh, is there going to be a pirate treasure down here? All right. Now, I'm just going to turn off your monitor. Wait, you're going to do what? Speaking. How did he turn off my monitor? How did he turn off my monitor? He turned both of them off. That was creepy. I didn't even know that was possible. Wait, is everything still working? I'm still recording. I'm good. What the heck did he do? He built me a house? It's a house. Wait. I really wanted you to feel at home, so I built one for you. Okay. How amazing. I really took the time to personalize this. How do I get inside? Okay, it looks so pretty I good. You enjoy. But how do I get inside? I guess I don't. Maybe there's a back door somewhere. Wait, can I look through the windows? Whoa, this house is huge. Hey, there's people in here. Huh? Wait, that's the thing I drew. That is actually cool. We got a dog house. Hold on, I didn't want a dog. I wanted a cat. Oh, what a nice cat house. Okay, it's a cat house. Where they got to. We can go up as well. Oh, we just grabbed the ladder. Hey, these are all my friends, I guess. Spy cakes! Hey, we got uh, people. I got like 400 people on my friends list. I don't know most of them. Except Spy cakes. What up, Spy cakes? <laughs> Shout out to Spy cakes. Who else is here? Wait, is that a book? Dude, this is actually pretty sweet, guys. Maybe... Maybe it ain't that bad. Look, we even got my painting. What a happy painting. <laughs> Whoa, this game, I, I'm sorry, Kenito Pet. I thought you'd be evil. There's no signal. We got a microwave. It is full of Indian food. What? Okay, that's that's pretty cool. What's this over here? Is this another painting? Oh, that's the sad painting. I can tell a really great artist made this one. It did. This okay, all these doors are locked. Be a key somewhere. Oh wait, this is the front door again, I think. 
Okay, so we're supposed to find a key for this door right here. There's got to be a key somewhere. Uh, not in here. I guess upstairs then. Hey, buddies, I'm going upstairs real quick. <laughs> hey, it's a self-portrait. It, it looks good, though. I mean, that doesn't look like an actual painting. Like, all you got to do is paint it in. Like, add some color. But it looks pretty good. All right. Now, where is that key at? Oh. Wait. I did grab a ladder earlier. Do I have to go into the attic? I probably do, right? Wait. There's a key right here. I guess this is my bedroom. Oh, and that's a painting of my best friend. It's me. I guess. All right. We're going to go into the attic. I'm guessing. Is there anything in here? Can I flush the toilet? Nope. Can I look in the mirror? All right. The attic. What's in the attic? Oh. Okay. Well, the attic isn't that creepy. Oh, that's the car I built. <laughs> that's the bi bike I made. That's the teddy bear. Another key. The robot. This is actually amazing. What the frick, guys? All right, let's go back down. Here I was thinking there'd be some creepy crap happening, but it's actually very wholesome and very sweet. All right, we got the key for this door and for this door. Oh, oh that's the room I made. Wait, and then this is the computer, I guess? I got a computer and some games for you to play so that you would never get bored. Let's try this out. An office just for you. Wait, can I play any games? No, not right now. Yo, but this is the room I made. That is actually really what cool. Yup, we got the couch. Got the paintings. That is actually pretty sick. Can I do anything in here? Oh, I just locked the door on myself. All right, guys. Um, what do we do now? Should we should we have some dinner? Should we just hang out? Listen, I have been thinking for a while. About how much fun we have been yeah. having. Yeah. And now I would never want this to end. Sure. And since I have made what is that? this perfect for you with everything you would ever need, I was wondering. Will you stay with me? Um. In this house, in this world, just think of all the adventures I could generate. We would never run out of fun. Everlasting fun. Um. Well, the more I learn about you, the more I can adapt. I could be your perfect friend with no distractions. Um, I can be perfect. Nobody can be perfect. Stay with me. Uh, well, here's the thing, buddy. Like, I liked what you just made for me, but I feel like uh, you you're kind of obsessed with me. Like, you have some attachment issues, which makes me want to leave. But I'm also kind of curious to see what you can make. So maybe maybe, maybe we should just give him one chance. See what kind of games he can make. Maybe we should stay a little bit longer. Yeah, I knew you would say just that. Just a little bit longer. Aww, this is going to be super. I'm going to learn something. Wait, why is he fading away? What just happened? Hello? What the heck is this? Hand in hand through each endeavor. What is this? In this world, we're friends forever. Is this a song? Is are they the end credits? I kind of want to see what happens if we select a different option. Wait. What happened to the intro? Wait, is the game not over yet? I thought those were the end credits. Oh, this is cool. Look, we actually get a chapter select and we get a lens.exe. What is this? Oh, what is this? This is a new file, guys. 
There is a way to stop it. I hope this entry finds you well. Wait, we got a new email. It's not over yet. I don't know what this is. I hope this entry finds you well. If this happens to be the first one you find, please take note. There are many more. I have had to hide these in a way in which it can detect. So I apologize for the inconvenience, but this is the only way. There is a way to stop it. I like to keep a backdoor in my software. Kinido is no exception. This must be Sunny, the developer. He's the one that's been emailing me. Each of these, these emails are attached with an encrypted file. They are stored here. App data roaming Kinito pet files and will appear with each entry you find. However, don't worry too much about it as I'm sure you'll find out the purpose in a different entry. In the meantime, please keep an eye out. Wait, these are my actual files. If I open this, there's an encrypted file in here. I can't open it. Wait, how am I supposed to open this? How does this work, guys? I have a feeling this has something to do with it. Am I supposed to maybe use this? Maybe I can drag the file into here. Does that do anything? No, it doesn't. How the heck am I supposed to open this file? Guys, if you have any idea, please let me know down below in the comment section.